reading for January 16th, entitled, The Results of Inner Renewal. That He would grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. We are still in probationary time. He that earnestly desires eternal life will strive for it. He will get it by desire and effort. Gold is hid in the earth. Desire and effort combined alone will secure the treasure. If we have aroused an interest in souls that are ready to die, we have aroused our own souls. What a comfort it is to know that the Lord wants us in His family above, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3, verse 16. We need to cherish and exercise faith. Our faith must work. We must have that faith that works by love and purifies the soul. The leaven has a vital energy, penetrating and absorbing all the elements into which it is introduced. So likewise, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The word of the Lord is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. The word is a power as we practice it. The great change that the truth makes is inward. It begins in the heart and works outwardly. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Burnt offerings and sacrifices thou wouldest not. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. God is not pleased with pharisaical pretense. We will hide in Jesus Christ. We will trust in His love. We will believe day by day that He loves us with a love that is infinite. Let nothing, nothing discourage you and make you sad. Think of the goodness of God. Recount His favors and blessings. I am laboring constantly in writing and speaking. The Lord has been my very best friend, and you both can testify the same. Let the praise of the Lord be ever in our hearts and in our minds and upon our lips. In this way, we can magnify the truth. The Holy Spirit will witness with our spirit that we are indeed children of the heavenly King. Be of good courage. Jesus is our personal friend and Savior. He loves us. And if he notices the little brown sparrow, how much more will he love and care for us? The memory goes weak when it is not exercised. So will our faith and hope and courage become feeble unless we look unto Jesus with all the confidence that a little child looks to its mother. By beholding him, we become changed into his righteousness. Let not one thought of unbelief be woven into our religious experience. The Lord will be our efficiency and exceeding great reward. Taken from Letter 20, dated January 16, 1898, to Sister Kelsey.